Hello everybody, this is Goddess Kendra. Sorry I haven't been making videos. I found out I have a viral infection and I've been really sick and I work two jobs. So getting to the point, shout out to my biggest supporter, Cypher Supreme Ra. So can you please subscribe to Cypher Supreme TV? Thank you and thank you for your support. So today's discussion, we're talking about communication and disrespect. So I noticed no matter where you are, whether it's family, friends, associates, in the workplace or everyday life, I notice people feel that they could just talk to you any kind of way and it's fine. My thing is, if you're upset with me, you come talk to me as a man or a woman and we discuss what the issue is, but I will no longer stand for people talking outside of their mouth. Whenever I've had a dispute with somebody, I always state facts. So if you're trying to hurt me, I'm going to state facts about you and your flaws. Call it petty. I don't care. There's been different examples of the people that know me think because they're older than me, they could just talk crazy and I'm supposed to be like, oh, I'm going to lick your asshole or whatever. Nah, you need to have respect, especially the older generation. And this has been happening for centuries think they can dissect disrespect and talk crazy and then their thing is i'm your elder so you respect me okay ma'am or sir sir or ma'am you want respect you better give fucking respect back because you can't sit up here and say you're holding a grudge against someone for 14 years and you're mad at them if you didn't discuss why you were mad at me those years ago then i don't care one thing is I never in life want to be around people who do not respect me and constantly talk crazy to me because I feel like anybody that does not respect me does not deserve to be around my children. See, it's a thing called protecting your energy. Now, if I was constantly around people who disrespected me, my children would feel that they can do the same thing. And I'm not with that shit no more. If you can't respect me or be a man or a woman and tell me why the fuck you're upset, but then on the side you want to start shit, fuck you. And eat shit. I don't care. Family, friend, coworker, or manager, you respect me and I respect you. Yeah, and I one thing I cannot stand is somebody to talk to me like I'm a child. How can you call me disrespectful, but if I'm trying to talk like this and you want to go left field about your bullshit, say what you mean and mean what you say, see. I was talking to Bianca, you know, the girl who I did the video about uh, deadbeat parents. And we were just saying how a lot of women especially will dislike another woman because her children or child don't like her. So then they try to point the finger at you. But wait a minute. If you point a finger at me, you're pointing four back at yourself and your shit ain't right. So how can you be mad at me? If you don't have a relationship with your partner, your spouse, your child, or your children, that sounds like a personal problem. But see, people need to realize communication goes both ways. And you can't just talk sideways out of your mouth to me. I will not give no fucks. Like, people say, oh, well, it's about the children or whatever. But if you don't respect me, motherfucker, I don't want you around me. I could tell you I don't give not a fuck anymore. I used to be the passive aggressive person, but as I've gotten older and obviously I have children, I have to make the best decisions for myself and I have to be an example to my children on how to act. Now, I could be petty and argue with you for days and days, but one thing I could say. When debating or arguing with someone, I've always been taught to state facts. So you come at me, I'm going to come at you. But it's a shame nowadays that even older people are starting to be foolish as hell and act like they're young. Or like I said, they feel I'm older than you. So you respect me. Well, don't talk shit and don't be disrespectful. And I'll always respect you. But if I'm upset about some shit you say to me, I'm always going to tell you how I feel. And if you're mad, I don't know what to say. But see, families, we really need to heal. We need to let go of these issues we harbor, talk about them, and let them go. You can't keep sweeping things up 
under the rug, it's going to eventually explode and it's going to be ugly. That's why you have families today, especially in the black community, where we don't talk to each other for years and years and years because people don't want to be honest and they want to keep holding grudges and talking about people. And the one thing I fucking hate is that if somebody has a problem with me or about anything that I say, they don't want to tell me but they want to talk about me behind my back or start making up lies I don't play games like that we are too old and especially if you are born in 60 1960 or back and you're still acting like a child like you have to grow up who wants to be around a miserable person all day that all they do is um want to keep shit started I don't be around nobody like that if my mama called me talking crazy I'm gonna tell her hey you need to change your tone I'm sorry you had a bad day but please don't talk to me like that and if it keeps escalating okay the kids are crying I gotta go I don't do with bullshit no more even one of my friends I've been friends with forever is like goddess Kendra you've never taken shit from nobody but I said back then when you knew me I felt that I was weak because I was angry and I didn't express myself but now I'm just with it if I have something to say I'm gonna say to your face whether it's at work family friends associates anybody if you're gonna be disrespectful I'm gonna be like yo you need to change your tone and don't say nothing to me or I'm the type of person, especially in the workplace, I'll be quiet and not say anything to you the whole entire time and just do my job and get it done. And if you're mad, whatever, we need to stop being meek, weak minded and letting people influence us. Stand by what you mean, whether it's something you said to somebody or something you posted on the Internet. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe. Love you.